up, YouTube? It's Zabdurish Tishijer, and I just got back from another tournament. This time it was regionals. I know in the US they're still having uh, states and stuff, but uh, in my country you just skip to uh, regionals, and I'll tell you all about it right now. So, as you probably can guess from the background, I was playing Zakram Yax Electric, which was a deck I was testing out a couple of weeks ago. So, Zakram Yax is just such a good card in combination with Electric. And if you see uh, in your tournament that uh, people are playing Electric, they're probably uh, playing Zakram Yax Electric because it's just so good. And uh, yeah, I'll just go through my deck list. Uh, Right now, uh, there will be a deck list in the description as well. So, uh, as you see, uh, the camera has to focus. There it goes. So, I was running two Zekrom EX. There's one here and uh, then one in the background right there. So, then a uh, regular Zekrom, two Thunderous. I think this is one of the best starters in this deck, to be honest. Uh, then we have Cleffa, Eek, <laughs> and then we have three Dynamos. I uh, was running uh, one with a uh, uh, with the attack Thunder Wave with 40 HP, but I decided to drop that for uh, one uh, another one with free retreat because I think it's the best thing that you can have at your starter Pokemon with a Mewtwo EX or maybe um, a Zekrom or stuff. Because yeah, if you have free retreat, you have so many options available. Then uh, three electrics, so uh, two here and then one in the background makes three. Then uh, one Terrakion, which is the tech uh, to cover against or, or counter lightning decks. If you're up against a mirror match, Terrakion will also always help you out. Then we have Shaman to move around the energies, really helpful, it helped me out in a couple of situations. Then uh, two Mewtwo EX, one regular one and one Full Art. I was going to get another Full Art, but yeah, the trade didn't um, proceed as I planned, but uh, yeah, I'm still happy with two Mewtwo EXs in this deck. And then we have the trainers, we have one, two, three plus power, uh, three switches. As you can see, uh, the deck is completely reversed, uh, just like my Magnezone Electric deck, so it wasn't actually that hard to uh, get all the uh, reverses. And then four Junk Arm. Tree catcher, really helpful to catch out the dynamos in your mirror matches. Uh, two level ball. I was going to uh, run three level ball, but I decided to run one communication because you can get out something that you really need. Like uh, if you don't have collector, you have Juniper, and then uh, there's a communication there. You can just use that and get out to Rakion or maybe Mewtwo EX when it's needed. Um, and then we have uh, one Poke here. One Super Rod, really helpful if you use Super Rod and then Collector uh, uh, after that, really helpful to get back uh, Terrakion or maybe Mewtwo EX or Tynamos, uh, it all depends on uh, some situations. Then 3 stage training, 4 Collector, these were a pain and the, you know what, <laughs> to get these because yeah, Collector Reverse, nobody uh, wouldn't like to trade those because they're uh, so expensive. Then we have 2 Professor Oak's new theory, really helpful to shuffle uh, your deck and get a fresh new hand. Then we have N. To, uh, yes, I only run one end because uh, my deck usually gets uh, the first prize cards and stuff thanks to Mewtwo and uh, Thunderous. So two Juniper, really helpful if you have lots of lightning energies that you want to discard in your hand and have a fresh new hand as well. And then you the lightning energies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's actually all that I need because I uh, do run Super Rod and stuff and Electric gets uh, them back so they don't go to, lo to the Lost Zone uh, like with Magnezone Electric. They, uh, with Magnezone Electric you have the problem of running out of energies and with this deck you can always get them back with Electric. Then two Fighting Energies, really helpful to power up Terrakion. And then four Double Carlos Energies. I think it's really needed because Zekrom EX runs on Double Carlos, the regular Zekrom runs on Double Carlos and of course Mewtwo EX. And with the help of Plus Powers I could easily dunk and stuff. So that was my complete deck list. I uh, hope you... Uh, at least uh, learned a bit about my deck and how it works. Uh, I also did a couple of battle videos with this deck. If you haven't checked those out, uh, you should uh, definitely check them out. It was uh, pretty interesting testing that as deck out uh, at first. And uh, then I also got some uh, prizes. I got eight boosters for uh, becoming third and in, in the tournament. Yeah. So uh, as you already know, I lost in top cut, but it uh, doesn't really matter because I still got some uh, championship points. And uh, yeah, the boosters, they weren't that good, but I, I think they were uh, just all right. Uh, because uh, we went there to, um, to the shop and there was an open booster box there. And uh, yeah, me and a couple of friends just went there and bought and bought all the packs until the booster box was empty. And uh, uh, as it turned out, there wasn't a single EX in that box except for one shiny. So it must have been really strange to... Uh, yeah, come across that because we bought uh, like something like over 20 packs and uh, there wasn't a single EX. So I think there was something wrong with that box, like it was uh, messed up or something. Like the owner of the shop did something to it. I don't know, it was just so disturbing. But uh, anyway, I still got this nice Gardevoir in this pack. What else did I got? Zipstrika. Many people play uh, Zipstrika as well. Uh, for uh, and uh, Zachrom EX Electric just to have that trainer lock. Oh, what else did I got? Articuno Hollow, that's uh, nice. What else? Um, nothing that special, I know. 
Uh, Prism Energy Reverse could be helpful uh, when I'm making a deck with Prism Energies and yeah, I know that I had terrible luck with these pulls, just like my friends, they all uh, pulled nothing actually. Uh, then we have Lucario, it's a hollow at least, but uh, yeah, it sucks. Uh, yeah, then some other random stuff like another Articuno, so uh, Articuno was uh, yeah all around in my boosters. Uh, then Lapras, I, at least I got a couple of double Chorus energies, um, yeah, that'll be, I believe uh, the double Chorus energies was the only thing that uh, was anything special in these boosters, or in these boosters, and uh, yeah, I also bought a couple of sleeves here, I uh, got these Celebi sleeves, they were really, uh, yeah, made in China, everything's made in China, and uh, yeah, in my deck, I also uh, used the uh, new sleeves, the Giratina sleeves, Celebi sleeves, and uh, then my brother also bought a couple of sleeves himself. It was a uh, Reiko, Suicon, and Ante sleeves. Uh, really uh, nice ones. So uh, yeah, at least we got that. And uh, then we have some online codes that I got. I'll be giving away those uh, pretty soon. So look out for that video. I already have 17 left. So um, yeah, this will make something like a total of 25 boosters. Uh, uh, online codes that I will be giving away soon. And uh, I believe that's it. Now let's go straight to my binder. And uh, here we have uh, my updated trade binder. I know the uh, front page looks exactly the same like last time. But uh, there are uh, some changes in here. And I'll talk about which cards are for trade and which ones aren't. So uh, here we have, uh, yeah, just uh, sets like uh, all the primes, and then we have Typhlosion. Uh, let's see here. One Typhlosion is for uh, for trade. One Dolphin is for trade. One for Alligator. One Blizzy. One Yan Mega. One Kingdra. One Lantern. Uh, all three Raichus are for trade. Aspion for trade. Handum for trade. Yan Mega for trade. So there's a bunch of trade. Uh, uh, offers you can make because yeah everything's for trade uh, big, uh, except for these Mews, the Mews aren't for trade but uh, Machamp is for trade, uh, Gengar is for trade, Electrodes are for trade then uh, Magnazone, I know that uh, it's a pain in my heart to uh, let them go but uh, they are all for trade but the Celebes aren't so no Celebi offers you can make because I still want to make a uh, like a XTC deck, like it's really good. I want to test it out as soon as I have my uh, third Mewtwo and uh, Absol is also for trade so but I only trade for the cards I'm looking for. Just uh, something to remember. You can make an offer, and uh, yeah, something that I don't, uh, not looking for. It's not. I'm just going to ignore it because yeah, I have so many trade offers that uh, yeah, I can't just accept them all. So here you see a complete legend page. It's uh, one of my favorite pages in my binder. So um, as you already know, I'm collecting all the ultra rares. And uh, let's see here. These three are all for trade. If you're looking for something out of these, then we have this. And uh, the shiny legendaries aren't for trade. I'm looking for the number one, four. 7 and then uh, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So uh, if you have 11, 10, uh, 7, uh, 4 or 1, you can just let me know. I'm looking for those. Uh, I was looking for the Alpha Lithographs, but uh, it seems like I could have uh, I traded them all at uh, this tournament, actually, the regionals. Uh, it was really easy to get these Alpha Lithographs, so I actually have two uh, Alpha Lithographs, the number one. So this one is for trade, actually. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, my full arts. I do have all the full arts, but they are uh, in my deck. And uh, like uh, this Sacrum is in my deck. Two Tundras are in my deck. I believe one Tornadus could be for trade. Then two Reshrams are for trade, and the two Sacrums as well. So yeah, you just have to make an offer for something that I'm looking for, like uh, Shinies. Uh, these are the only ones that I'm uh, currently looking for. And this binder will uh, come across some more um, when we progress. So uh, Trakian is in my binder. Then one and full art. At I don't think I want to trade this Enflor because it's still useful in decks. <laughs> Here we have Regigigas EX, it's for trade. So that's great uh, news for you guys that don't have Regigigas already. And that I'm looking for Shaman, I believe I already traded that, could be wrong though. Then uh, yeah, that's all for the regular uh, EXs because I have Zekrom, I'm Mewtwo, uh, Digger's Armor in my deck. And uh, then for the full arts, I do have Zekrom, uh, Mewtwo. Shaman and Curum, which means I'm looking for Reshram EX Full Art and Reg Gigas EX Full Art. And then for the Shinies, I'm looking for all of those except for Chandelure. And I'm also looking for the Secret Rare Pikachu from Black and White. And that's it for my ones. And now let's just go to my uh, low ones. As you see, I also collect all the level X's. I am missing something here. I don't know. You can just uh, PM me if you have something. It could be a trainer card though, like a time distortion or something. I don't know. Uh, something that uh, I'm not, I don't have already. Then we have uh, this side. I believe this is uh, the regular Garchomp uh, level X, not the, the C level X, not from Sentia. Then we have Leafeon, I believe. I'm uh, Cresselia, yeah. Here I'm looking for uh, Giratina, of course. And then here is uh, Mesprit, I believe. Yeah, I do have Azov and Yuxi. So, um, yeah. Let's go on. Here I'm looking for um, Floatzel and Hepauden. If you have those, just PM me. I have a bunch of uh, cards for trade. If you're looking for something like Yanmega or something, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. 
And then, yeah, that's it for uh, that. I also have gold stars. They might be for trade if you uh, offer something good. There are just some random ultra rares that are in here. Same for the EXs. Uh, the Zabdos uh, cards aren't for trade. All the rest is for trade if you have something that I'm looking for. So, pretty great trade binder if I say so myself. And uh, yeah, let's just go on. Most of these are mint, as you see. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Whale art is definitely not mint. It's just torn apart. I already explained that in a previous video. But anyway, let's progress. <laughs> Here I'm looking for uh, the victory cup number two. I have the number one and the number three. I'm still looking for a uh, second place and then we have a tropical wind here. These are not for trade, but I'm just going over them. A tropical beach in uh, some sort of weird language. I think it's, uh, I don't know, French or nah. It's definitely not French. I think it's uh, Spanish. I don't know. And then we have some secret rares. These are all for trade except for Zapdos. If you were looking for something like the Rotoms, I don't know. Then we have some... Uh, yeah, playable hollows or reverse hollows in this case, all for trade. Uh, same here. Uh, patch reaches aren't for trade, Shaman uh, isn't for trade as well. Shmurgle's for trade, all the rest is also for trade. Uh, everything's for trade here. And then we have this as well, God to tell is dead, so for trade. Um, maybe Ambor couldn't be for trade, I don't know. There are de there's definitely one Ambor for trade. And then we have Zoroarks, these are traded by the way. And then that's it, I believe. That's just some random reverses. It could be an update here. I can just put something in. And then we have my Zapdos collection. Just a bunch of Zapdoses. Uh, yeah. Thanks to all the free cards I got by the mail, I got a bunch of Zapdoses. Like uh, from uh, Base Set and Fossil, I think I have the most. Or maybe Next Destinies. There are a bunch of Zapdos. I really like to collect those. My favorite could, would be the Rockets one. Or maybe where is it? The other one. Hmm. Or yeah, this have those EX is definitely my favorite, the one for Fire Red Leaf Green, but this one is also pretty nice. And uh, that's it for this binder, stay tuned for part 2 where I'll be uh, talking about my tournament report and how I did. Yo!